What's up everybody, Ted Forbes here from The Art of Photography. And in this video, we're going to do the week in pictures. And this is something that I just kind of tried last week and threw it out there to see what you guys thought and see if this is something that you want to see as part of the show. The response was absolutely overwhelming. And so I'm going to make it a thing that we do. And for a long time, I've wanted to start including more photojournalism into the work that I show here. Um, we concentrate a lot on the history of photography on the show, a lot of stuff in the fine art world, and I think this is a missing component that I would like to do more with. And so I'm excited that you guys were excited and we're gonna start that today. The idea behind this, um, a couple things. First of all, this is really only work that's been done in the last week, so it's all of the moment, it's all current. And there are two things that really impressed me about getting into this. One, the quality of the work is just outstanding. There's some brilliant photographers working today. And two, there are some amazing things that go on in the world. The world is a big place. And I can tell you as a Westerner, very little of this you see in our news media. And so I think what better way to celebrate that type of imagery than through photography. So this is going to be kind of an around the world in pictures in the last week. On Friday, July 15th, the Gion Festival gets underway in Toyohashi, Japan. This is a cultural festival that happens every year. And what you see here is a pyrotechnician who is seen holding a bamboo cylinder containing fireworks. We'll move over to the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and this is a beautiful image of a boy seen praying at a Catholic church. Heavy rains fell this week in Beijing as tourists hold umbrellas standing in front of the Tiananmen Gate. This is the Rhone Glacier, and it is one of the oldest glaciers in the Alps, and threatened by warm temperatures, it is seen here protected by special white blankets that are made to keep it from melting. In Ankara, Turkey, a woman is seen praying at a mosque during funerals for those killed in the failed coup attempt this week. A flock of sheep are seen in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, shot from an aerial view. On July 18th, street vendors selling pigeon food wait inside their cabins for customers in central Istanbul, while in Jakarta, two Indonesian workers at a tofu factory are seen gathering boiled tofu. On July 21st, outside of Abu Dhabi, the annual Liwa Date Festival begins. This is an Emirati woman, and she is seen with her basket of dates. This is probably one of my favorite images this week. It's just a very simple picture of a woman in Frankfurt, Germany, and the morning sun is obscuring her profile. Some fairly big news in Portsmouth this week. On July 19th, Henry VIII's warship, the Mary Rose, is finally on display after 30 years of restoration. It originally sank in 1845 on July 18th. It was rediscovered in 1971 and raised in 1982. It is now on display in a museum that has been built. On July 20th, Insha Malik sits by her x-ray sheet in a hospital in Srinagar. Her face was hit by pellets while watching a protest and was one of the many that have erupted in Kashmir over the last month. Ishna is 14. On July 21st, Israeli President Rivlin, former President Peres, and Prime Minister Netanyahu use VR goggles at a ceremony at the Press Center for Peace. Hindu worshippers throw chickens into the crater at Mount Bromo as offerings during the Yadnya Kasada Festival in East Java, Indonesia, to express gratitude to the gods for their harvest and fortune that was bestowed this year. Indonesian villagers are seen catching the chickens as they're thrown into the crater. And finally, onlookers enjoy a two-day international hot air balloon festival which kicked off this week in Israel. One other thing that I want to share with you guys today is a photo essay that I ran across on the Reuters website. And this was done by a Taiwanese photographer named Tyrone Siu. I hope I pronounced that right. And it's called Fishing with Fire. And this is a really wonderful photo essay and I will link it up in the show description but I want to share some of these images and talk about it with you. Um, this is a series of images that were done on these fishermen off the coast of Taiwan who have kind of this interesting old school method of catching sardines and how this works is they use these torches that are lit on fire. They fish by night and it has a burning chemical sulfur mix on the end of it and they'll move the boat around in the water in this grid-like fashion as these sardines are drawn to the flame and as soon as enough of them start jumping up they cast a net in and that's how they catch fish. And it's an interesting industry. It's kind of old school. It has attracted some tourism attention. And a lot of these fishermen are in their 60s. Um, they talk about in here some of the difficulties in this. It can pay a lot of money, but you're dependent on weather and rain and all kinds of other things that can get in the way. And it's how these people make a living. And it's a really wonderful essay. These are really difficult photos to shoot. You're in on a boat in the dark. You probably need to use long lenses. And I think that, uh, that Tyrone Sio did such a wonderful job on this. I will put a link in the show notes to the photo essay and also to his website. Um, unfortunately, like a, a lot of photography websites, the homepage is under password.
password protection, but the interior pages are up. I'm not real sure what's up there, but I will link it up. He really does have some fabulous work, so website mechanics aside, be sure to check him out. He is wonderful. Um, this is something that I'm gonna do every week or so on here, and I'm still in the process of fleshing out exactly how I want to present this material. Um, I feel like I'm just kind of curating images and telling you what they are right now, and I would like to dig a little deeper into photojournalism itself. I am definitely open to suggestions if you guys want to leave a comment below. I will read all of those. And this is something that I just, I think it's a missing component that we've had on the show for a long time. It's something that I want to include. I think it would be a great thing to have come out on the weekends when people have time to kind of catch up after the week. And uh, anyway, so let me know what you guys think. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to like it, share it, subscribe to The Art of Photography, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, later.